you know, because there's yeah. like Good a Good evening and welcome to the Georgetown Middle High School School Building Committee meeting for Tuesday, March 10th, 2015. Um, I'd like to approve the minutes for February 10th, 2015. So moved. Second. And any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And we have another set of minutes from February 24th, 2015. I have um, one change there. I was not at that meeting, and you yeah, have me as being there. And I got an email from Tip Billy where she was there, so I transposed it to them. So I'm fixing okay. it. So just if you could as amended. Go, go with the amendment. Okay. It, are we talking about the 24th? 24th. All right. Then would anyone? Oh, I, I move we accept the minutes of. Uh, 24th of February, right, as amended. Second. All right, any other questions or comments? <coughs> Corrections? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. The invoices for this evening come from Municipal, um, DRA, North of Boston News, and DM Berg's associates. They total forty-six thousand nine hundred ninety dollars nine dollars and that's nine hundred and nine dollars and eighty-five cents. Was the news for the, the bid? Yeah. You yeah. have to publish legal uh, yeah. an advertisement. Anyone care to make a motion? I forgot the number. Yeah, right. I was just going to say something. Forty-six thousand nine hundred nine dollars and eighty-five cents. I move that we accept <laughs> the bills in that amount. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Any other questions about the bills? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Yeah. Okay, we don't have any other old business. So, <coughs> Pat, would you like to go through sure. the? I think everybody has a copy of the report. Yes. And just we'll go into page two real quick. <coughs> Previous month's activity. Uh, the bid documents were completed. Uh, file submits were received. The GC bid is due this Thursday, the 12th. There's a little bit of a misprint. It says the 9th. It's actually the 12th. Uh, Final response to the 90% were received and responded to from MSBA. Uh, they actually, there were two bid walkthroughs with the potential bidders uh, during the course of the bidding process. Five addendas were issued, combination of questions from the bidders and just refining of the documents. Uh, and then the pro-pay submissions continued to get your reimbursements. Uh, GC bids are due Thursday. Yes, sir. And uh, just running to the the budget, really not a whole lot has changed. Hi, Michelle. Not a lot has changed uh, from obviously where we are. Obviously, we're in the process of receiving the bids, and we'll do any adjustments that we have to make after we get the GC bid in. Uh, so if you run down through it, you'll see that everything in here, the construction cost stays the same. It shows, obviously, some of the invoicing that's taken place, but all of the budgets remain pretty much intact where they were. Your continues is still in the same place they were. Construction continued to... 410,000 and some odd change, onus contingency at 170. So again, like I said, there's nothing that's happened to affect the budget other than we're going through the bid stage and once we get that done, we can obviously update this. Schedule uh, remains as it's been. Obviously to get started in the gymnasium, in the procurement and shop drawings uh, during April vacation. Uh, and then obviously start in earnest on the site as soon as it is staff and the children are out of school. I have a question. Is the weather going to affect your starting? The starting is the starting is inside. Okay. The, the, so the, the only work they have available is inside the gymnasium. And the, the biggest advantage in st starting in April, as we've said before, is getting going on shop drawings and procurement. Because to be able to start full blast in, in June, they have to do all of the shop drawings, do all of the, the ordering, all of the fabrication. So that's that's the biggest advantage is getting all of that done so that they can they can hit the uh, the street running when they get to June. But are you asking about the last day of school if that changes no, because I, I of the snow days? Thinking, no, I was oh. I didn't know if there was going to be any outside work being done once no. April no. hit. No, no. All right. But I believe we made the first 
uh, day of work, July 1 or something like that? So even if yes. the school year is extended to make up for, for school days, it, you can't go into July, days. right? So correct. the contractors, you know, there's no problem there All right. in affecting that schedule. I mean, they want, they're going to want to get in as soon as they possibly right. can. If we can give them another day or two, they're going to want to get in. It's going to pay dividends at the tail end. So if school does get out early, there's a possibility you start before Ju July 1st? It could, so sure. That yeah. That's a possibility. That yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 With the exterior work. With, with all of it. Everything. 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 All of it. The school Throughout will be empty at that point. The, 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 the gym you're starting. But the gym you're doing right in, in April. The gym is April. starting. April. Some work is starting in April. And then the rest of the work in earnest will start when the school is out. So it's really just the gym that's going to be that's worked it. on that's before it. the school. That's correct. School. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And that shuts down the gym for the final two and a half months? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've gone over that with Peter and Carol, and they're very comfortable that the weather will be favorable at that point, so they'll be able to do something else at that point. Just out of curiosity, five bids, is that kind of what you expected for a job that size? Because I think we got more on that. You're talking about we don't we have we, we don't have general bids yet. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. The general bids yeah. are due on Thursday. Five, 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 five addenda. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five addenda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Uh, which takes us actually to the uh, the big item, and that's obviously to obviously approve the list of file submitters. I think uh, Courtney and Kyle passed around the entire bid tab, and uh, before we get to the bid tab, there actually were four uh, withdrawals. Three. Uh, I'm sorry, three withdrawals, uh, and they were from, and there's a memo that Courtney prepared uh, that went out uh, today, as a matter of fact. Uh, Division 7, Alston Roofing made a clerical error. JM Painting, in the uh, painting category, again, made a clerical error. They were requested withdrawal. And Lavangi Electric did the same, and they've all cited clerical errors the pains of pen, uh, perjury, penalties of perjury, and they've asked to be withdrawn and return the, the bid deposits, and we would recommend that you accept and return the bid bonds and let them out of the equation. Do we need to vote on that? Uh, mm -hmm. I would say you should, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Vote to, to allow them to withdraw and return their bid deposit and then move to the second bidders. And those are Alston Roofing, Lavangi Electric, and who else? J.M. Painting. J. Okay. And those are the letters we circulated through earlier today. Yeah, there was letters circulated for your review today. What was the electric? Lavangi. L-E-V-A-N-J-I-E. -E. I mean, G-I-E. Yeah. 608,000. Right. So and that would take you to a summary that we passed out. There's a summary we passed out right. to show you where we stand with regard to the hi Jeff, hey. to the uh, to the estimated file subs. Uh, you'll see the low bid amount and it names the individuals and the full listing you have. That was I think that was circulated, Chuck. Mm -hmm. the, the, the bid full tabulation. Full packet. Full bid. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of copies up okay. here. Yeah. Okay. There's there's a full packet. If you want to see all of the competition in every category, there's there's copies here. So this, this includes the uh, the, um, the second bidder, the change. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And if you if you look at that, the subtotal is three million three hundred ninety-three thousand and change. The estimated uh, low bid that the uh, RLB had, which was the estimator for uh, DRA, was three million four twenty-three and change. So we are under by some almost thirty thousand dollars on the file submits. Uh, so. We would have liked to be been um, lower than that, but again, like I said, we're in range, so the rest of it's going to be in the general contractor's hands. So I would say at this stage of the game, we're in good shape. As a matter of fact, I think if I look back at the Pembroke, I think we were over in the subcategories. In this case here, we're slightly under on the subcategories. So, uh, and then if you look down below, it uh, doesn't leave a whole lot of hope for the window alternate, because if you look down below alternate one is the window alternate, the file sub bids. Actual sub bids 141,000 and some change. Estimated value was 55,000. And then alternate two, the low bid was obviously under the estimated value. 
the window number came in way much higher than was anticipated. What, what, what exactly was that window? Was it the the back the, the uh, science, science room rooms. windows changing oh, all those yeah. windows the back, back there? The yeah. The yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that. and you can't take two unless you take one. They got to be taken in order. Why did oh, they come? Why did oh. it come in so high? Uh, again, like you said, right. yeah, just, just the complexity of the windows. Yeah. I mean, they just you yeah. know. Do we have multiple bidders or no? There was yeah, there was multiple bidders. There yeah. were yeah. four. Yeah. yeah. This is the lowest, obviously, right? That's here. Would, would you say, never under four? Is it? I'm sorry. No, we had four. There were we four. four. Yeah, okay. we there were four. four. Yeah. Just that in the roof and the uh, the heating and the air conditioning. Do we have multiple bidders there too? The uh, a, a, to the HVAC. There was only two. Yeah. Roofing. There was several. Okay. Yeah, there was several. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those were the big. Big good items. idea to take a look Six. at these. In some cases, there was one. I mean, on the miscellaneous metal, very. It's it was. It's not a very desirable project. And if you bid that three times, you probably wouldn't do any better. You might do a lot worse. Right. So there were times when you'd want to hold on to one, and this would be the case where we'd recommend you hold on to that one. Because, A, it would delay things in getting finalized with our contract, and you probably wouldn't do any better because it's not going to get any more desirable as we move down the line. Yeah, um, with all the potential roof damage over this winter, do you expect any delays uh, for the roofing, jo roofing part of the job? Because... No. Uh, no, the timing, I timing is kind of critical. But yeah, no, I, I don't. I really don't. Yeah, I don't. I think what's going to happen is the, the damages that's a, that's occurred. I mean, they're going to be scrambling to get some of those repair works, some of those repairs done. Uh, and again, like I said, uh, as, as far as the this job here, it's going to land sometime, someplace around July, end of July, for the you know to, for really getting the roofing going. I don't think you'll see an appreciable. Yeah, these bids were just last week, George. So yeah. people knew, you know. What yeah. work was ahead of? We're them right in the middle. Yeah, I know, but they, they, they might be taking another bit roof and bid job and saying, "Okay, we got. Yeah. You'll be in the pipeline." Well, they 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 bid this job and they committed to the job. They have right. to obviously right. perform. So, I mean, if they thought they were going to have a lot more lucrative situations, in this particular case, the roofing prices came in considerably low. They were very advantageous. We had a good group of roofing contra uh, roofing bidders. So. Uh, and again, they knew exactly what was happening. They were bidding this. Yeah, I thought we were like 1.2 million we at were. one point on that. Mm -hmm. Our estimate was over a million. That's right. Right. Yeah. The estimate was over a million. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So we can yeah. we use that difference to pay for the window? The metal it, 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 it's all. Yeah. It's all straight in here. Yeah. It's all straight into. It's all straight into the equation. Yeah. 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 Well, except for the. Wait a minute. Twenty nine. You got the answer. You thought you were going to get. The answer to your question is strictly no. Everybody's saying yes. You can't. Until you get the general contractor bids. Right. Once we get the general contractor bids and you see where we are in the total, mm -hmm. then you'll see if you realize this kind of savings between the roofing and the estimates. The estimates really don't mean anything at this point. They're a guide. Right. The hard estimates. The so. hard prices are really what matters. Okay. So, so what I'm hearing is that it looks like that's question. going to work out, but we don't know for sure. Absolutely. But even okay. the base it's, yeah, bid it's not window price was high, but that's sort of compensated for by the roof being low. Other prices that come yes. in low. Yes. Okay. You know, Chuck is Got correct. It. I misunderstood your question. But basically, the, the, the Again, roofing like numbers, the alternate happen. numbers are going to be the <laughs> alternate numbers, and the general number will be the general price for the entire project. And then once you get the entire project number, then you start looking at the alternates to see how they fit into the budget. And we've right now, our construction budget, as it's been right along, has been $5,861,000. That's, that's the construction budget that we currently have mm -hmm. that you've already committed with MSBA is going to be the construction budget. Right. If you come in considerably under that and there's room for that particular cat, you come in at 5, 6 and some change, then you may have room. Time will tell. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. So do we want to vote now? I would okay. say, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so we need a vote to accept the withdrawal of Alston Roofing, JM Painting, and Levanji Electric and um, allow the return of their bid deposit. Right. Mm -hmm. So moved. Okay. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And you probably want to vote to accept the revised list of file submitters? <clears throat> So moved. No. <laughs> <laughs> so moved. <laughs> Second. Yeah. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Any other questions for Pat? Um, I, I just wanted to clarify. So the gym is going to start April 14th. Do we know when the gym, per se, is going to be finished? The end of the summer. Yeah. The end of they the summer. They have to the end of the summer, yeah. April 20th. Yeah. They're starting August, August 20th. 
<laughs> the gym is starting. Just that. She's talking. He said it's going to be finished. Oh, okay. yeah. when's it going to be finished? Oh, because she had said April okay. 14th okay. Okay. originally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When school starts is really right. When school starts. Yeah. What you want to say? Right. right. I'm just looking for an approximate. I know things can happen, and you know. Like, yeah. Right now, there'll be, there'll be nobody in the school during the course of the summer at all. It'll be completely the contract with the school. Right, so there will be no summer programs no, in the gym. Okay. Right, everything's moved out. Carla Courtney, did you have anything you wanted to bring up about the middle high school? I don't think there's anything further. Okay. Waiting you know, for the bids on Thursday? Yeah. The only other business um, is that the okay. school committee re is requesting that we appear right. before them at their next meeting to just give them an update on the yeah. little high school project. Yeah. The other thing, Chuck, just reminded me, we talked about the intra meeting on the 24th. We do need an intra meeting to, to award the GC. Okay. Yeah, so we should, we should Could establish that. Could all of that. you schedule a meeting or I make won't. a meeting on the 24th yeah. of March? Was Carol asking just about the the middle high school or was she asking about Pembroke also? We would be happy to answer questions on both, but she specifically asked about the high school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think just because the construction is going to start in April, just yes. to give everybody a heads yes. up on that. Okay, that's pretty much. And mm -hmm. I, 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 I think Peter Blushman was there. What? And Peter Blushman, yes, he was there in a meeting, and knew. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I think just to give the public, oh. give everybody uh, a heads up because. March twenty fourth. Yeah, March twenty fourth. Just to let parents Anyone? know too. You can't. I'm not you can't. Can you do the 24th? One, two, three. Right can now, I no, Yes. Like Jeff, are you okay for the 24th? Yeah, I have jury duty that day, but I should be out by that time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come in and bail you out if we have to, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You'll be there. I'll be but there. You won't. Oh, yeah, the 24th. Okay. Okay. So that's All right, then why don't, we'll go ahead and post a meeting for the 24th. 24th. Yeah. Okay. And that's to approve the GC. Yes. Seven o'clock? Yes. And it should be brief because is we that it? Vote to approve. Yes, is that it? That is, just yeah. to approve the GC, that's it? Mm -hmm. That's all you get to do. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And well, get, it, it might be on site on alternates. Yes, that's that well, so part of the equation. It's all part of it, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. To award the GC and then look at the alternates to see if there's room in the, in the budget to get the alternates done. But it all, it all wraps around the award of the GC packet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anything else? Okay. All in favor of adjourn, Ling? <laughs> <laughs> so moved. Second. Third. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Welcome to the school building committee for the Pembroke Project, March 10th, 2015. We have two sets of minutes to approve. The first one is from February 10th, 2015. Would anyone care to make a motion to approve these? I move we approve the minutes of February 10th. Okay. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Any questions, concerns? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Would anyone care to make a motion to approve the minutes of February 24th, 2015? So moved. It's easier. <laughs> Again, Jack, we're going to do the tilling. Second. Yeah, I wasn't there then. Okay. George seconded. Okay. Any other corrections, comments, concerns? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'll abstain. I wasn't there. Okay. Did you hear Eric abstain? Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion carries. The invoices. Are revised from what I emailed you. Okay. So I built today that needed to be paid. And you added it to the packet I have in front of me? I added it to the packet in front of you and I passed out a single sheet for everybody. Okay. So then we added to it from the one the ones I emailed to you is a Verizon bill. Okay. I saw it in the email. Yeah. All right. I sent you $459.96. Okay, so we have invoices from UTS, Municipal, DRA, Break, and Verizon, and the amount, this is a smaller one, $693,061.59. Anyone care to make a motion to approve these? Second. Okay, did anyone have any discussions? So the bills seem to stop going back up again 
next month? Nope. That seems like a, a low point. No, no be, this would be this coming June when we start phase phase two. No. This is the new. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking for cash flow. It jumps back up to about eight hundred. That, that's a kind of a. Ballpark. That was speculated one. That that always varies up and down. Try and keep you on the safe side. Okay. Yeah. So you borrowed enough money. What did you get months ago? All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. There you go. All right, Pat. Would you like to go through the? Sure. I'll just, I'll just run through that uh, starting on page two real quick. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can after this month uh, after this report we can start talking about snow. It seems to be uh, on the way out. So hopefully by the next meeting it'll be uh, just about done. Uh, just going through the categories real quick. <clears throat> the masonry completed the uh, the sign and the last of the stone veneer at the entry. Uh, exterior roof trim was suspended due to weather. They couldn't get around obviously with the equipment. They'll be picking that up again if they haven't done so already. Uh, the glass for the media center. <clears throat> Finally came in. They were, I think, they were missing one piece, uh, two pieces, or uh, whatever it was. They're missing a piece of two, which again, hopefully, will come in shortly. In the meantime, they're getting some plywood covering it up. Uh, exterior doors and hardware, interior glass are completed. Uh, moving into finishes, which is where most of the activity is, is really finishes and uh, the MEP categories. Drywall touch-up, uh, final coat of painting in many of the areas. Uh, wood case work, mill work is continuing in all areas. Uh, doors and hardware being installed. Uh, resilient flooring for those who have gone through it. You can see the resilient flooring in those corridors and classrooms is uh, on the uh, second and third floors is pretty much uh, completed. They're down on the first floor. Terrazzo tile is continuing with the temporary tiles uh, in areas where they've got to make the change to the correct color, which I understand is doing That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, acoustical ceilings and wall panels uh, are installed in most areas. They're still doing some obviously odds and ends in various areas. Uh, elevator installation is complete. It's ready for inspection. They were just waiting for the tile on the first floor to get done. You need to call that done. Food service equipment is completed. Uh, startup is scheduled for uh, mid-March, end of the month, middle to the end of the month. Uh, mechanicals, uh, startups are underway on the plumbing. Most of the the startups have occurred. The gray water system, uh, the hot water system, most of those systems are underway. The, we know that the sewage pumps are working because they're taking the ex existing building sewage into those tanks and running it down to the new field. Uh, HVAC, uh, HVAC equipment is up. Startups are completed in that gym and kitchen area and they continue to work on the other areas to get them up and running. Uh, boilers have been completed and uh, they've been using them for temporary heat for the last couple of months. Uh, electrical, again, it's all a matter of just getting all of the fire alarm devices installed, this duct smokes and so forth, all getting them together and all to work as a system. So there's a lot of testing and so forth going on at this stage. Fire protection is just about complete. They'll be testing that in conjunction with the fire alarm. Uh, next month, anticipated activities. Uh, site work, we still don't expect any site work to start until we obviously get rid of the snow and get rid of some of the frost. Uh, exterior, uh, the goal is to try and get the exterior 100% complete, all of the miscellaneous items, some of the soffit work and anything that has to do with any of the curtain wall or uh, odds and ends, masonry and soffits and so forth. Uh, interior, interior finishes, continue the finished drywall paint and touch up throughout the whole project. Installation of millwork and lockers and there's, there's a lot of, we're actually moving into the punch list stage. I mean, Courtney and her crew were up there doing some preliminary punching. I always like to make sure I emphasize it's preliminary. A punch list is a, is a final document attached to the substantial completion certificate, but in an effort to actually motivate them and show them what's going to be taken care of, they've cooperated by going in and doing a list of items that have to be taken care of, whether they're items that were noted by you or us or anybody else in, doing, in the ongoing inspections. So all of that is being worked on together so that we get down to a minimal punch list when we get there. George has a is there any concern about flooding? Next month? No. 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 I don't think we have any issues on with regard to flight. There's no place in there where I see a lot of pocketing water, or low areas. I would I would be surprised if there was any issues. And under, and knowing that site, that the in the porosity of the soils, uh, we haven't had any problems during the course of the job and I would be surprised if there were any issues. 
The contractor may be worried if they didn't stabilize slopes or something because they didn't seed, but that's their issue. It's not any issues that you would have in the future. Which would be different than erosion. Erosion right. would be obviously cascading water running down a, an embankment. But as far as water building up and puddling causing flooding, I, 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 I'm not sure. I don't know where that could, could happen out there. I mean, any, anything can happen, I guess, but I'm not, I can't think of anything out there that would pose an issue where we're going to get flooding in a stand of water that's going to create a problem. Okay. I mean, I looked in the fall and I, I noticed there was some erosion control being overtopped. Erosion, yeah. Erosion is different. They, 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 have, they have had problems with erosion and they may very well have problems with erosion because they... I'm talking about the erosion control devices you got. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and again, repair like, them a couple those, times. Have to be, those have to be maintained and those have to be taken care of. No okay. question about it. Right. Yeah, yeah. But as far as water building up and causing a flooding situation, right. but as far as the erosion is concerned, I mean, we talk about that, you know, if you've been at the meetings, you can see that's one of the ongoing items to go out and check the erosion control. And uh, again, like I said, the town has been, the agent has been very good. He's been out at the site. Uh, and again, like I said, it's something that comes up. And again, it's going to have to come up again because we've had three feet of snow. Who knows what kind of condition the erosion protection's in? It's all buried. Yeah. Yeah, it's buried. So yeah. once it starts to show itself, then it's going to start to point out what exactly has to be maintained. Okay. And uh, so that's, yeah, that, that, that definitely has to be watched, yes. no question about it. Speaking of snow, is it okay if I speak mm -hmm. on? Thank you. Uh, speaking of snow, remember last meeting we were talking about there was some grates or something in, around windows where snow is piling up on the sides the of sun, the, the, the sun shade. Sunshade. Sun 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 yeah. yeah. sun yeah. Sunshades. What are we, what do we decided to do about that? Is that not You've taken a look at reverse or? changing those blades, the angle of the blade or something? Right. Well, we talked to the manufacturer specifically mm -hmm. about those, and they said that the, the actual sunshades are engineered based on, you know, the, the size of the profile of the shades. I mean, they don't advise removing actual blades from it because then it may affect the rigidity of the sunshade. Uh -huh. They calculate all the wind loads and everything based on the actual design of how many blades are in there and everything. So they said we really don't recommend taking out. It's fine actually as it is. And I looked at it yesterday; it was all gone, melted off the third melted. floor. So that's great news. Went it's it's great news. Gone. What's that? The water went to the right. Yeah, yeah. they said. I mean, you could it's remove them in their entirety if they really bothered you in terms of Catching aesthetics or blocking sun in the winter time. Mm -hmm. But they said this is also an. An, an unordinary situation. That no, I don't think that was the objection. It yeah. was just mm -hmm. what right. was going to happen yeah. with the snow. So yeah. right. snow they did. To... They did the calculations. They said it'd be fine with the amount of snow that we had this year. If there was, I don't, don't think it could to. build it up any more than that. So we don't have to remove snow. They don't have to be. You, know, you don't have to remove snow, mm -hmm. and you don't well, have to remove them. There was no snow actually removed from them. Oh, they, they didn't have to. No. I, I know there was an ice built up. That was the question. Why did it get an ice built up? That's, right. That's certainly going to hold the snow up. Well, right. the ironic thing is that it probably occurred because they're in the shade of the trees. Yeah. Or that end of the building is close to the woods. So if we're in the shade, then we don't really need sunshades. That's right. So it's but in the summer. Of the, that. But because we have sunshade, you know. Um, and I thought I, that I, I thought the that Brake went, went, went up and shoveled them off before they did the, the structural calculation because that said they were, they were okay. I oh, thought somebody did because they had to have a lift. Yeah, they oh, went no. up there and they did. clean it. Oh, they, they did clean they, some of them. They did. Oh. They, they, were, they weren't sure, but they, mm -hmm. they were, while they were doing the calculation, they figured we might as well let's get some of that snow up because we're not sure. They came it, back and verified we're okay. It's more of an aesthetic okay. thing, you know, in the future that because these are not at the top of the window, they're at an intermediate point because we have such high glass there at the end of the corridors. So you see the snow on top of the louver and the upper pane of glass. As long as we're confident, that we don't okay. have to go on regular. Yeah, on anything. it's not a structural right. issue. Right. It's not a structural issue. issue. We don't have to shovel snow. We don't have to shovel snow. That's it. Yeah. Keep it underneath. No, there. no, there's a yeah. solid canopy underneath. That's so. yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Okay. Courtney, include me in an email from them stating all of that, which I then forwarded to Mike, and I said you ought to print it out and keep it in your notebook for just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so good idea. He has the documentation that that was, yep. and he has mm -hmm. the contact information, and, right? Too. So <laughs> that I figured that would cover all our bases. And then while we're on the questioning, <laughs> questions here. I don't care. I had a problem with the lockers. Was anything done about the lockers and the, the that's bolts? All, those were all being worked. Oh, well, as far as the the dimples yeah, showing up, the, the, the spot that's, welds. That's 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 been resolved. What you see is what you get. That's a result of the spot welding where they reinforced the back of the locker. Mm -hmm. And they've done the best they can with it. There's nothing really you can do with it. And it's been discussed at length with Ellie and Carol. There's been a couple of inspections and walking around and looking at the condition in various angles as, the, as it relates to the light coming in. And uh, 
basically there is nothing they can do other than to change the doors into a heavier gauge, which would be worth a, a lot of money. A solid door with no you know? vents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't you say these metal pieces yeah, were to, to a noise reducer? Yeah, because yes. it yeah. kind of stiffens the back of the door yeah. so that when right. you shut it, it doesn't yeah. warp back. And oh, it doesn't. It bounce. stiffens the back. Yeah. You could get yeah. doors without yeah. that. But there would be much the, noisier. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not quite you know? What are the ones in the high school? Are they heavier and are they yeah, spot I welded as well? I don't know. You know what? They're a lot older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I, I think by looking at these, it's in the manufacturer. When they put this metal plate on, I think they stamp it. And the in stamping causes yeah. this little well, the, dimple. I think the, the spot weld causes we it. It's yeah. just a little dimple. Because it melts right. it. It's not a dimple, it comes out. Yeah. That's yeah. Well, well the, all right, they, they did it from the back. That's, yeah, why. that's right. <laughs> right. Right. That's why I think when they put it in there. Yeah. In certain colors, you can see a little bit more. Yeah, it's right. yeah. yeah. a little bit more. The blue shows up. It shows a lot. And it also depends on whether you're looking at the higher or lower lockers, how the light hits it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it probably would have broken through. I think it's okay. probably pretty thin yeah, material. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, to, just to continue and wrap up this portion of it, uh, next month, again, we talked about obviously getting the outside straightened out, and the inside's the same, trying to get all of the inside finishes up to a point where we start heading down the road to obviously getting to substantial completion. The, end of, the middle of the end of May, which would be perfect, because then we actually have the furniture rolling in, and if we can take substantial completion, as we've said, before we get to the point where furniture's coming in, we're all winners because we eliminate all that discussion about who nicked the wall and who's responsible and whose building is it. We take it. There's a punch list attached, hopefully a minimal one because of the effort by everybody to obviously get these things resolved, and we can take it cleanly in, in May sometime. So, so right now we're thinking that end of May is... Yeah, I think if you ask break, they would say they'll be, they're going to be substantially done this month. Well, if you ask us, we think we're going to be substantially done by the end of May, because to me, to us, reading the interpretive <coughs> language in the contract, yeah. when the building is ready for its intended use. That means you can walk into that school and run it as a school with all the systems running properly, yeah. with all the proper ventilation, all of the systems working, and the place spit shined. And the, that, right, yeah. the white finger glove. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, so Ellie, which Ellie's volunteered to do. She's going to bring a <laughs> plant. I make that very White clear. gloves. Not only volunteered, but I will be going so, in. So is it in the agreement <laughs> or the contract with the uh, ff &E people that if they mess things up that they have to repair them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Chuck, you, yeah, you, you, you're familiar with that. Yeah, Courtney, yeah. whoever yeah. wants to chime in, but that's normally yeah. the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then mechanical systems, again, most of the work now is just getting everything up and running so it's running is, is a is a homogeneous system, every one of the systems, and everything works together. The fire alarm works with the sprinkler system, and there's bugs to shake out, and the temp control system is going to take a while before they get that all taken care of, and the commissioning meetings, meetings are going on. The commissioning agent has to come in and verify everything. So there's quite a bit of effort to get everything running properly. It's not just a matter of getting all the cosmetics done, but all the systems have to work properly. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the balance of work for the upcoming upcoming month, uh, a couple of months actually. And the schedule again, it's still clearly we're going to be done ahead of schedule. The question is how much ahead of schedule? Anywhere between early April and the end of May, somewhere in that time frame depending on who you're talking to. Obviously uh, May is better. May would be better. May yes. would be better. You don't need yeah. to own two schools, but yeah. whenever it gets to that point, we've got obviously, yeah. we've got to take it. Uh, going through the change, uh, change orders and, and uh, 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 budget, I think the best way to do that is just to flip over to page five. Chuck always does a good job here putting this together. And uh, if you run down through it, uh, it updates, uh, the, if you look at the bottom under construction contingency, which, the, which is the third line item from the bottom, it's 479000 And that includes all the change orders that you've approved to date. Uh, and then we still have the 302 in the owner's contingency. And then we hopefully will never have to talk about touching the million six eighty three that we were under budget on. So that hopefully will always stay in your kitty and that we can wrap everything up for the anticipated contingencies we have. Not a lot of changes up above, so I'm not going to take any time to go through that other than any changes had to do with the uh, change orders. If you flip uh, to page 7, you can see there's your list of change orders up to 14. It doesn't include 15 because you haven't approved that yet. You'll be, that'll be offered tonight for approval. 
but through 14, <clears throat> you can see the change order total of 3488, uh, the original contingency, and then contingencies to date, and you can see that so we get the 479. Obviously, adding in the change orders to date. And then to bring that forward even further, if you go to page 8, you can see again the fourth line from the bottom, the contingency balance of 479. And then if you look up above the, the two left-hand columns, there's 4,500 for estimated cost of some changes. And then there's another column that says pending submitted changes for 58,000. If you combine those two, you get the 63,000 at the bottom. And then the 18,000, a change out of 15, which is being offered tonight. And when you get down to the bottom, if we have approved all the changes up above, obviously you wouldn't because some of them are still being negotiated and some may not get done. It leaves us with just under $400,000 for contingency if everything else is accommodated in the budget. So you, you add up the estimated cost is $2,500 That equals $4,500? Yes, correct. And then you go to the right of that, uh, uh, George, you see the 58000 right next to it? Mm -hmm. Where it says totals, that should be four thousand, shouldn't it? Forty-five hundred. Yeah, the twenty-five hundred. Plus fifteen hundred is. Well, it's four thousand. Yes, you're right. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That should be four thousand. Correct. Then you go to the right of that. You get fifty-eight thousand. Good catch. Good catch. It's a formula. Engineering is going to pay off. Glad to hear that. But those two numbers, again, equate to approximately that 63,000. And those coming off, the 18 and the 63 coming off the 479, leaves just under $400,000 for contingency, along with the onus contingency of three some odd. So the contingency at this point is in, in decent shape. We wouldn't recommend spending a lot of extra scope items. We want to make sure we hold that for things that we really need because we still have the demolition to go through and so forth on the existing building. So I would say at this stage, the budget is in good shape. The, the pending submitted amount doesn't add up. Yeah, it doesn't, but that's a, uh, I'm gonna, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm going to defer yeah. that uh, over to yeah, yeah. Chuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's like it's over about five or 6,000. They have a hidden yeah. cell there. There must be a cell or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, both of the columns don't yeah. add up. And yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah. That looks like the total of the... Something's off with the formula. 58 looks like the total of both columns, Chuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think that, yeah. Six. That would be eight. in our favor, though. That would be it in would. your favor, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. We'll take it. Yeah, that'd be yeah. in your favor. That's correct. And it probably won't yeah. turn out to be that way. Extra yeah. conservative. Yeah. Watch those formulas. There's something missing. Yeah. Right. Sorry for the confusion, but we'll check that. Uh, going through this, obviously, is an exercise. Yeah, it looks like, the, looks like those two, yeah. Yeah. Was there a cell up on top? Yeah. So are the numbers actual or? No, the, the, these numbers uh, actually work to your advantage. These numbers appear to be a combination. Okay. And well, so he didn't leave out something. No, no, no. Yeah. They were old boarding. They were old boarding. Perfect. Okay. They didn't. They got to add it in. The boarding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No man's okay. land. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sorry about that. Up in the cloud. Yeah. Sorry for the confusion. We'll try not to let it happen yeah, so again. In other words, your numbers got better by about yeah. six grand. Yeah. So we can find something to do. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. It actually puts us over 400. There you go. Mm -hmm. We can say we're over 400, <laughs> not just slightly under. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Can I ask you, I was not at the 24th meeting, but you guys just discussed the new, um, what are we calling the building? Shed. Shed. Oh, but shed. That's, that's not the right word. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, we'll get into that. Thanks. Unless you have questions, that's pretty much it. Thank you. You do have a change out of 15 at some point that you want to. Yes, you're going to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, we well take care of that now. Okay. Yeah. okay, we have a change order in the amount of $18,521.46. Yeah. 
Do you have copies of that? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Do you want to walk through those? Okay. <coughs> I, I could walk through those yeah. uh, okay. briefly. Um, the uh, first one, number 63, some soffits in the kindergarten rooms, two of the rooms, um, had uh, rain leader pipes that just protruded down below the ceiling um, through coordination. Um, that's where they ended up, so we needed to add um, some drywall soffits to conceal those, make it look like it was designed that way and not just the mistake of a little pipe poking through the ceiling. Um, 68B, the next one is sort of a mathematical correction as I understand it. Um, I think when we, we had approved this previously, this had to do with the curtain wall, tall curtain wall at the main, uh, at the <coughs> stair. Um, in the cafetorium? Um, it was in the... Facing that way, but the, you know, the three-story stair there, there's a, Stairs, there's okay. a tall curtain wall and uh, the size of it had to be adjusted on either end and some uh, brake metal was added and blocking and caulking and, and so forth. But uh, we approved it and then, but the backup rate, I think, made a transposition, is that the right word? A uh, mathematical mistake in, on his face sheet. And so we approved his face sheet, but it turned out not to match the backup. So this 1200 is to correct that from last time. I think it was just last month you approved right. the previous one, change yeah. Number 14. Yeah. Um, number 71, Media Center Casework. These are some bookcases, um, two shelves high, the low ones, not on the big wall, but on um, the returns, under the round window in the Media Center and on the opposite wall. There's some um, casework that um, on the plans was labeled as, uh, in one case, plastic laminate but it's really meant to be metal casework with a plastic laminate top. So in order to match what's under the window, because it's one continuous, it, it works like a, a, a seat, if right. you remember the design. The, the, the windows come you down very low that. to the school, uh, to the floor, and uh, the kids can sit on the windowsill like a, a window seat yeah. under there, right? And it wraps around in a U-shape. So uh, we needed to um, uh, replace and, and add the metal casework, uh, replace the, the uh, plastic laminate. So there was a credit for the uh, plastic laminate, but the metal casework is much more sophisticated. It allows for, for the um, heating radiators behind it, has a false back and so forth, so it's more expensive. Um, and it's, um, oh, I don't know, about 10, 12 feet long at least on, on each end uh, there. It, it is expensive, yeah. yeah the and it has a plastic laminate top on it to, to sit on. That's a continuation of the window sill. Um, number 75, cafeteria ramp railing. This is, um, there was a sort of missing piece of railing. At the top of the ramp um, at the stage, there's also a set of stairs. So there's a set of rails on the, on the ramp and there's a set of rails on the um, stairs, but in this direction, there was a gap, and it was a fall hazard, so we needed to add about an 18-inch section of um, guardrail. And it's in that same decorative pattern as the, the main stair. You know, it looks sort of like tree branches yeah. and leaves yeah. uh, there. Um, number 76 is uh, a small one for um, just like this, except the fire chief wants them to be three-dimensional signs, so that say fire extinguisher. We own this kind of sign on a locker, but as you walk up and down the corridor, he wanted something that protrudes. It's not an unusual request, and they're obviously not that expensive at $200 or so. Um, 77, kitchen pipe chase. There were, uh, I guess it's just one location, right? There was some mm -hmm. exposed pipes in the um, kitchen. They, they did have an insulation cover on them, but it's really neater, and I, the Board of Health would prefer if they were boxed out with the same fiberglass panels as the right. wall. So this is uh, paying for boxing them out, um, not just leaving the insulation exposed. Makes it more sanitary. Uh, number 78, uh, toilet tissue um, holders. These are, it's a, a sort of coordination issue where the, um, the ones that were specified were double height, you know, two rolls. And, it, and certain partitions and in the handicapped stalls that interferes with the grab bar. So um, they had already delivered them. So the school's actually taking possession of the original ones and, and, and um, 
uh, side-by-side ones are being provided in lieu of that for this uh, amount. And then uh, the last one, number 80, in um, one of the um, special ed classrooms, the OPT PT room, there's this swing that swings from the structure, um, hangs just to the ceiling or attaches at the ceiling line. Um, they needed to add some supporting structure. The, the swing itself is being bought as part of furniture and equipment. The attachment, we own something in the documents, but not the full bracing for the, for the one that we're actually getting in the hook that um, the uh, swing hooks onto. So we needed to beef up the structure to accept that swing in there. So these have all been you know, reviewed, and uh, some of them have gone back and forth uh, with the contractor a few times here. And I think in all cases, the, well, maybe not the toilet tissue, I don't know if they've got the replacement, but in almost all cases, the work's already been accomplished, I think, uh, for these. Okay. So. so would anyone like to make a motion to accept change order number 15 in the amount of $18,521.46? So moved. Second. Any other discussion on these? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, the shed. Do you happen to have any information on? I do. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> the information is there is no information. <laughs> uh, the information is Mike and I, Mike, the two Mikes, Mike Farrell and Mike Anderson and I met on Monday. I asked them if they could give me a few minutes to meet because they've been no lie, I must have 150 emails on this. So we said, you know what, we've got to just determine what we're going to do. The bottom line is, as we talked about last month, Mike identified that he needed a larger shed. He presented it to you all last month, and you approved it to go to a larger, larger, larger shed, which means it also had to add foundations because originally we only had a slab in there. So that was all approved, and everything was ready to go last month. Mike. And Anderson, the school department was going to buy it. Was the intent was to buy the shed as a pre-engineered building off the state bid list. It turns out the state no longer has pre-engineered buildings on the state bid list. So now all of a sudden we we're scrambling to find a way to procure this type of shed. So it turned into a whole back and forth. So I met with Mike Anderson and Mike Farrell on Monday morning, and we reviewed it. Mike Farrell also got the Inspector General's office on the phone to review how he could procure this shed of the 1,200 square feet size shed that he needed for the outdoor equipment that he has, which is the snow blowers and mowers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That also will include encompassing the, the well and the irrigation, it, 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 the irrigation controls and all of that will all be inside. As we, as we met on Monday morning, and we talked to the, Mike talked to the, Mike Farrell talked to the IG's office. It became clear to him that there was only, became clear to us there was only really two ways to do this. One way was as, as we discussed, as I discussed it with Carl and Court, Courtney, was to sim simply increase a contract amount to DRA, ask them to design the shed, and then submit it as a change order to break, which you could do. The fear is that will be pretty costly. This will turn into a size of a shed, and a shed that, Corey Ken Ken Kennedy, if we brought the number num, num, number to you, I would hide underneath the desk. It's going to be a big number. So the second way to do it, and that's no res, no reflection on them, it's just the process. So the second way to do it is the IG suggested that this could be bid as a what's listed as a modular building, which is specific law for modular buildings within the bidding laws. Mike Farrell is still investigating that. It's not been 100% determined if that's the way he's going to go. But in the meantime, Mike Anderson was asked to start creating what's called a specification, what the building is to have and what it's to sort of look like. So you're not having to retain DRA to design the building. Mike can work with metal building manufacturers to sort of come up with what the building is going to be. At this point, the building will be as I understand it, a metal building, a steel building, it will be a garage, for lack of a better term. Shed is a nice word, but it's a big shed, so it's a garage. Yeah. One door on one side, or one door facing the parking lot, or multiple doors, Mike's still working that out with separate metal building manufacturers. If it can be, be, be procured through the modular, 
then the question is how, what is the limit they can procure it under, meaning there's now, it's an increase of $35,000, if I'm not correct, if I'm correct, Joan, right? 35,000? 35, 35, yeah. They increased the limit, the state increased the limit last fall. So if the number comes within that $35,000, he can call three different metal building manufacturers and get prices, get quotations, and not have to put a bid package together. If they do it as a modular project, he has to put a bid spec together and put out, and Pat can explain this because he probably knows it better than anybody in the state, and I'm not just saying that because he's lived it. Um, you literally have to put an RFQ out for qualifications, take those in, you have to form a committee, review them, go through all this, and then accept price proposals, review those, and then award it, and then they come in and they build it. But they do the foundation work and the whole bit. It comes as a full package. So what you would do in this case is, is subtract whatever you're going to have break do, you take it as a credit, disregard the additional service you just approved to DRA, and I called her, I called Courtney immediately on Monday and said, don't do anything with your engineers because we just don't know this is going to go yet. So the long story short is that's where it sits. There is nothing decided yet. It is complicated. It shouldn't be, but it is. And Mike Farrell still has some digging to do, and Mike Anderson is working towards coming up with a design or a specification what he would like in it in preparation if we go one of the two ways of bidding or taking quotes. Okay. The deadline on this is we want to, if Brait is going to do anything with their site contract, we want them to get there while they're doing the restoration work of the fields and, rest and, and knocking down the Pembroke. We want them to do it this fall so that you're not disturbing the site any later and again, so that we'll have that done. And also, if it's possible, if we procure it either through taking quotes or this modular bidding process, also have it done this spring, I mean this summer and this fall, but that's pushing it, it's going to be tight. But that's the motivation is to get it done this summer and fall. It's complicated. I got a bunch of questions. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best yeah. to answer them. No, my, some of mine are real easy, but right now it's under the bid of the project, correct? No. No, no not it's at all. Not it's slab. Concrete slab. Only the slab. <coughs> only the slab. <coughs> okay. we Has it been increased in the size? Yes. Okay. So anything we do, we do on our own. 400 square feet to 1,200 square feet. And, and Roughly 400. Well, also going back like six months, this shed is right where the existing field, the corner where that existing field, the baseball field, is right now. Right. So when you come up, the first thing you're going to see when you go up to this beautiful new school is this yes, garage. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's we should not, continue it's to not on that corner. Sit back I mean, a little. It's, no, sit more back towards the, the existing. It's more towards the existing school. There's yeah. a set of parking spaces first, then the shed. Do you know what a gravel parking area is? Yes. Right there. Yeah, it's just to the, that drive. when you drive close up to, to what to you're going to see as yeah. you come it's, up that road. It's, you know, 80 well, feet back. Well, you'll see the it because there's no trees there anymore. You'll so. see it. That's park. true, but it's you'll 80 feet see. back. But if there's cars there, you we won't agree you should be concerned about the appearance. Yeah, big time. Yeah. No, I yeah, think really that we Oh, yeah, it, it has to look decent. I mean, I agree. I think we have to look follow this project through and make sure that everything we put there is of the quality that we want. So not only physically, but aesthetically. And we, and, I mean, we even talked to Mike about it not becoming a dump site. Okay? Yeah. It was just sitting around outside and everything. Right. right making sure Come into our new fit. school and see our garage. Well, yes. Where would you put it? I mean, you need right. something you like need that. Well, you, you need, need something. But it just has to look nice. Oh, well, that's, right. it's, it's, right. it's a pretty right. big it's field shed. Right. I mean, there's yeah. 30, 40 feet. Gable years. roofs. Yeah, but it has to be nice. a place yeah, where, where it's accessible and usable <laughs> for the people that are going to maintain the fields. You can't stick it over behind the building. I'd like to avoid flat roofs. The slab. The there is because that's where the old one was. The slab. Yeah. Well, right now, that's where the well is, though, too. The wellhead is there, yeah. but if you wanted to There's do just a small wooden shed to cover the wellhead and the irrigation right. system, probably no bigger than this corner, you could do that, put some nice trees around it. You wouldn't have to put a big garage for the wellhead. So what would another so option be? <laughs> the, the reason it's located there, I think, is because it's proximate to a driveway. If you put it, you know, any further out in the fields, you're going to want to pave a road to it. Well, which I mean, Mike has exist. heavy equipment that he needs to drive into the shed. Right. Right. That's the thing. You're not right. going to want him to drive across right. the field. Right. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he has a bob. He's going to have a. But he's going to drive up, have, up with a truck to a load of things. things in there. A lawnmower and a skid steer. Yeah. yeah. But you can still drive over. 
Is there anything in the back? Another problem is if you move it someplace else. Yeah. 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 The grading, the, the grading there's the grading. Grading. It's, it's like the back yeah. of the school with the grade drops. It's all cramped in there, right up against the little machines. Well, then we just got to make it look good. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, exactly right. Put some trees on it. And if it means that it's not going to be a quick butler building, then it's not going to be that. You know, it's going to have to be something else. I mean, you know, years ago, there was a building, I won't even name it, when in downtown and it was supposed to look like it's going to blend right in because it's going to have horizontal metal panels or something and it turns out to be vertical and looks ugly now we're stuck with it yeah what's that when you build something you're stuck with it for life um, so let's build it right car parts so i'm not going to say anything <laughs> mike <laughs> i didn't say anything <laughs> but, well, i understand mike i guess was working with the two mics are working together on a, a plan of attack as to how to approach it right that's where it was left when chuck left it right all right, so we're not going to worry about the design yet. We figure out how we're going to go about doing it. And Mike already knows. He's already said he's going to talk to us about what it will look like. But he, doesn't, he doesn't care. He has his specifications, and he's going to bring it to us. We are going to be limited because of money yeah. and because how many companies actually make these. Well, I'm sure he cares. He cares about function or edge. Right. Yes. Yes. When I say he doesn't tell. care, I mean he's he's leaving the look of it up to us. Oh, good. I, good. I don't mean okay. he doesn't yeah. care. Right. I, I did not mean to <laughs> infer that. He's right. providing I mean, the technical right. information. Right. right. He's providing what his needs are. Programmatic right. Right. That. And we can speak he would up like about us to make it look whatever we want. With, gable, like with a outside. gable roof, if possible. Yes. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Okay. Just an so, idea to throw out so there. we'll just we'll just <laughs> table this until because it's too mm -hmm. you know it's just used to wasting time on speculation at this point. We see what's going to happen. Okay, so now we have an interesting conversation. Yes, we have to design a plaque to go in the new school that lists the building committee, the school committee, the selectmen. And Courtney has some proposals on materials and I don't know if you actually yeah. designs or not. Uh, no, we don't have the full ones, design. Yeah, yet. what's okay. happening? Because you haven't done the first part about right. deciding what name should right. go on. Right. Yes. So could we you don't just want to be that. We don't want to test where, that one. <laughs> where the proposed location is. It would be in the lobby. As you, I heard they have it mounted right on the shed. Yeah, put it out on the shed. Make it look better. It better be a nice shed. <laughs> first thing you're going to see, you might as well see it. We'll put it right there first. Right there, the stairs. Right? Yeah. 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 If you come the in the front door, through the vestibule, yeah. there's a stair to your right. Yeah. Um, that has a landing, you know, part way up. So there's a sort of half height wall. It's more than half height. So at the landing up top. No, no, no. Yeah. On no, the no. first floor. Below, below the landing. Steps. Below the landing okay. down. Before there's enough of a wall the there that we could locate. That's probably the most appropriate location. So what's going around now are sign different types of signs that have been done by our signage consultant. We've also done, which what you don't Thank see you. are bronze signs, which we typically do on a lot of our buildings, but we were offering other options. We've done them as large as, as this for building committees. And they get, for, you know, the larger our bronze sign gets, the more expensive and more heavy <laughs> they are. <laughs> so we're going to have the top. <laughs> like, like, yeah. So um, just to give you an idea, like how big... This, I mean, we can obviously modify the text and everything like that and the names, but we just wanted to give you an idea of scale of how big they can get. But those pictures also show you other ideas in terms of materials. That's a big size. This is a big sign. This, this is very big. Yeah, this is, big. This is how big they have gone in the past. So, are you suggesting yeah, that we do that big? No, we're no. saying. <laughs> we're saying because I don't, the space isn't like. I just want people to see that's the bronze. See the one yeah. Paul is holding? That's yep. the bronze. Just in case you're not sure what we're talking about. I don't think that's quite big. But I haven't found, I had to talk to Margaret. Poster? Yeah. School. He's wider. Yeah. My name's spelled wrong. So who's, I think the look, big, look, the, look, the, look, the look, best. Look, well, look, that's look, good. Spelling, yeah. I don't think look. there is. Is there? 
Right now, I yeah. think they what we need to do school, yeah. is yeah. to give them some direction as far as what type of material we want. So it was the bronze or the silver in the well, the, zinc, the, the option. Zinc, yeah, we could do a, a zinc one in lieu of a bronze, but these are other options too. The, I mean, you could do like a stainless steel or an What's aluminum. What's the finishes in there? If you could just remind us. Of there's white there. aluminum framing. Yeah. Um, there's painted metal rails that are. Um, they're uh, rustic. They're, they're, yeah, there's sort of wood, rustic sort of looking. Rustic looking. Well, there's wooden. There's uh, maple too. wood, so it's light colored wood. Um, no, it's all kind of earthy tones, though. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. it has the tile going up the stairs. The terrazzo. The, uh, no, the, the hardware on the walls, is, the, is, um, um, ceramic. Oh, what, what do you think? Huh? What do you think? Well, <coughs> it's best like with the I can I'm tell. Not, I'm not hardware. loving the bronze. The hardware is all sand finished. No, no. no. I, I like the silver back. Yeah. 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 I just think silver seems a little more contemporary. Stainless, though, right? Stainless. Stainless. Yeah. Yeah. I just think the silver a little more contemporary. I think bronze would show up better. Like that one. Well, but you wanted to go with it. Because it's a contrasting color. But I happen to like the look. Yeah, I think you want to try to match the exactly. the other finishes that are there, and if we're using a chrome finishes for hardware and things mm -hmm. like that, and everything's a little bit lighter, I think you'd probably want something lighter, you know, uh, stainless uh, steel absolutely. or something. Yes, yes, yeah. we agree. Michelle and I both I, agree with that. We I mean, that's why bronze, bronze is sort of the knee-jerk reaction to the plaque, but in this case, we'd recommend after, after going into the school and seeing the school, everything is earth tones in there. Yeah. And I understand that, like, you know, some of the materials and stuff there are, mm -hmm. you know, the chrome and everything. But I was actually leaning. I didn't realize the bronze was quite as dark as. What is this? That's brass. That's more of a brassy brass. finish. So is it bright? Brassy. That's a no. That's right. Here, I have a picture Definitely of the no. railing. But can, I don't think it's the right color. Can we wait yeah, the, until the railing we go is on our next tour? I, I don't know. As a committee? How, how long can we wait? So that we can. Can picture. we just see well, that picture? Some, is that some committees really would say they'd the like bronzes? the plaque to be there on the day you have your ceremony. No, it's sometimes really it's not. Um, well, that's not available then, and we put up a fake one. It's, so what's the color of the rail going to be? Is make it look like the plaque. Is it very How much is this? No, no, no. That's yeah, that a rust. Prior that's, to them being that's, that's the primer. I think part of. I think it. Were we going to take a tour in March? Well, we were thinking that uh, perhaps yes. at the beginning yes. of the next meeting, we could do four before we meet. Yeah, so maybe yeah, we, before ma be having a meeting, we can look and, and try to picture yeah, it. Yeah, it's not like they could like mark some the lobby, up the side. I don't know. Really I'm leaning more That'd be perfect. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. And if you could, yeah, look at the look at the colors. Think about what names and how many because it affects the size. You get the terrazzo, and then that's the color of the rails on the side, and so it's all pretty light. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't want this thing to stand out like a sore thumb. No, no. 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 <laughs> That's but right. But I think the important thing is going to be, is I'm assuming you want to attach this to that tile. Is that where it would go? No, this is on the uh, wall. It's on the wall. It's, yeah, the tile is actually, on the wall. Is it on drywall? the drywall. I think it's, it's drywall. It's, it's, drywall. it's, it's on so the it's wall. It's higher than. No, it's no, 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 that's tile, not that, one. not that wall. Okay. So right just, as you come in, just as you come in, actually right in the vestibule, right. there's a big red fire alarm panel. Yeah. But as you go into the building, there's a black right. wall. Right, and it's a, like a half wall. Yeah, yeah or, it's about right. this high. You know, it's not a tall wall, yeah. so it's, not it's going to be It'll pretty be very visible. eye level to most adults. Yeah. I think. I, and I, I will bring with me. I took a picture of the one they just put up at the school I teach in. Mm -hmm. That actually is it has a wood background, but it's it must be. I don't think it's glass. Plexiglass, maybe. We have one of those, right? Oh, the memory on wall. it, and it's not flush against the wood. Yes. Yeah, um, oh, oh. That's the but lower the picture. The problem with that is shadow is the key word. Yeah. It's very difficult oh, to read. It's difficult to read. Yeah. Except it's yeah. in an alcove where there are yeah. it's no lighting. It has so to be you can lit just see right to make on. that work. Because you get yeah. your right. shadow yeah, light, you get your shadow yeah. behind. I went up to take image. pictures of it, and I was surprised at how my pictures look because you can't really see it. See these. And I thought that was large, but then when I see the that's, that's some of, that's, some of this them looks have small them. compared yeah. to <laughs> Looks like some of them should be at Mount Auburn Cemetery, oh. that thing. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm telling you, it takes yeah, up a It looks like wall. the uh, VFW plaque yeah, yeah. for the war, you know? Yeah. 
I don't, I, I mean, you have to look at the size of the wall and what other function would you so we don't give to it? If, there, if there's no other function, then maybe the sign is okay because what else would you do with that wall? And there's something else. But if there's other functions you might be able to give to the wall, she just did not there. You have to see the space before you decide. Don't go to the summer pictures. I mean, the bottom is clearly, those are the ones you'd want to have. Hey, not on the camera in the summer. <laughs> so so we'll have a, a tour at we'll, six o'clock on March twenty fourth. No, not March twenty fourth. No, but what's well, the date? Not on the twenty fourth. Oh, on the April. Oh, the April meeting. meeting. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The March twenty fourth so meeting is, is just. Is it, just just the, just, is it possible to meet at the old Pembroke School and have the meeting and then walk to the new? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Wait. If Margaret. Twenty fourth. We would like to hold our next regular meeting. April. In Pembroke. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. Public <laughs> We just want to make sure there's nothing on the calendar well, going on yeah. the library or anything. Yes, yeah. So what's the date? Oh, hold on. The date. I, don't know. I think it's, it's the April. April 14th. Yeah, 14th. April 14th. So it's yeah. April 14th. It's an April vacation. No, I know, but are we trying to get in there and decide on what we're going to use for? No. It's okay. a tour. We just want to go to the meeting. I know, Plus, but Carl I, will show us where to hold, where the. I know, but that's a month going. away. That's a month away. Yeah, can we wait that, that long for this decision? Yes. Yeah, we can. We can make that. Sure. As long as we're ready to make a decision. If you're, you're going with bronze, if you were going with a bronze plaque, that's you'd require a longer time. But ready for a and can we invite the school committee to go on this tour? If you would mind. Yes, I think well, they. I think they want, would really like. So are we eliminating bronze? Meeting. Okay, What's that? great. Are we eliminating yeah. bronze? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, that's what I was assuming yes. based on our conversation. Mm -hmm. no. All right. It's a vote, we right? Does anyone like the bronze? I okay. did. Besides Michelle? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eric? No. It's got earth tones, right? The bronze. The brown, the bronze is okay. this one. It's that one. I think the library has bronze. Oh, oh, that's okay. I thought you liked the brass huh? one. I'm sorry. You know, I, I don't think no, we can make a decision. No, no, no like brass. Brass. we can't. You're gonna no. have to bring it. Oh, it's shiny. You know, exactly. I mean, that's why I'm saying shiny. we shouldn't wait a minute. that. Yeah. I say we just get it over with. <laughs> get it done. Huh? Well, we want to do it right. Oh. Well, what's sign. our next meeting? I mean, our next meeting is well, the 24th, isn't it? Well, did you see the size of that sign? Wendy, can we get but, yeah, that's, that's for the uh, middle, school, middle high school award, the yes, GC. Yes, by okay. August. But you could right. do it. I mean, well, let's wait a month. We, we, right we just want to make sure that yeah. it's yeah. on the agenda. Everyone's yeah. thinking about it. All right. Okay. So for the for the April meeting, yeah. right? All right. So we will We'll meet at the at the existing school. That's what we. That's why we do lots of mock-ups. Everyone puts that. Yeah. My last name. So for the April meeting, we'll put plaque design approval. Is what. Sounds good. Well, you've got a lot to do. I know. I know. You've got the hard one coming. Yeah, I know. All right. So at the next. At least they're not getting rid of a plaque. Prior to the next meeting, not the next meeting. Prior to the the regular April meeting. We will meet. I'm fine with that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Hold on, which meeting? Because we're, we're booked out right now. Prior okay. to the April meeting, we will yeah. do a tour at Pem of the new Pembroke. Okay. And it's 6 o'clock or 545. I know it's hard for you, Jeff. But you can call us when you get there, and we'll come and meet you from wherever we are. Because you can watch. What time is the meeting? 7? It's yeah, seven. it's our general meeting. We'll do our meeting at 730. Okay. We'll do our meeting at 7.30. Do the tour at 6.30. That means you'll have the meeting at, I mean, the tour at 6.30? I'd love to go. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if you're going to do a 7.30, that 7.30 will be the, the middle high school, followed by the... Correct. Correct. All right, so 6.30 tour. If you want a tour. I will. You can say we'll, we'll Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Appreciate sure. that. Yeah. All right, is everyone good? We will invite yeah. the selectmen and the school yeah. committee yeah. to join yeah. us. Great. We will meet them without them on the sign, though, because yeah, right. too many spoilers. I think, yeah, I think so. April 14th, 630 at Pembroke. That's the meeting. They'd just be invited to the tour, just to the tour. not to yes. the meeting. Yeah, we yeah. don't need them at the right. meeting. No. They can come if they want. Everybody can meet, absolutely. Look at the sign. Everyone is invited. <laughs> Fine. All right. Dad, don't Are we changing the location to Pembroke that night? Sure. Yeah. Did you see anything on your 
I, I, you just wrote it down to yeah, check. I'll um, ask Diane tomorrow, and I'll email you with the shop. All right, that would be great. If there's a conflict, we'll let you know, and we'll still have the meeting, we'll still have the tour, but we'll just, just book the meeting here. here. Yeah. Don't lose okay. sight of You have to come to determination. Those yeah, I know. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. I think they got that. Yeah. I think they got that. Yeah. We, we, we're all set. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, let's see. We approve the change order. Oh, the ribbon cutting ceremony. Oh, yeah. October. <laughs> no, no. We, we're doing it before. We're doing school. it in August. This is something. I'll, I'll let Margaret pipe in on yeah, you this. You can do but, I mean, whatever. You yeah. have plenty of time to plan. Did you get my voicemail today? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we were thinking, just Ellie and I were talking earlier today, and we know that you had said doing it after the kids are in. Ellie and I feel very strongly about doing the ribbon cutting ceremony before, before school starts. Going. So, that's kind of where we are. So, Margaret can think? speak, and then you guys can. I like that idea because um, we're hoping that the day before school starts, will be a day that we will, you know, I'll stagger some, generally the day before school is a professional development day for teachers, we have meetings, but I've asked the superintendent if that afternoon I can schedule open houses in everyone's classroom for, you know, like half hour segments. So that would be a time when children and their parents would come, bring their tissues, you know, the school supplies, meet the teacher and see the actual classroom where they're going to be. So it would be nice to back it up so that the first time they're in the school, you know, they have an opportunity to see the school in general. So, you know, again, if we're looking at the day before school for meeting their teacher and seeing the room, if you back it up to have the general ribbon cutting and so that everyone can see the whole school, because there, there isn't going to be time right before school starts. There's just not going to be time. Teachers need to, you know, set their room up, especially if they're not going to get in until earlier mid-August. So what day does school start? What, yeah, September 2nd. Se what is it, September 2nd? I think it's the second. So, Margaret, so my... Day before Labor Day. So, are you looking at that, like, half-hour time slot for, like, the first time for parents and kids to come in? That's, I was hoping not. I was hoping no. that the first time would be, like, mid-August. Okay, so doing it in conjunction with the ribbon cutting ceremony and then doing right, that. Right, and then okay. have a tour, so they're, they, don't, they don't know yet, um, well, they... September 2nd. They actually might know where their room is because on the last day of school, That's not right? Be September second is a Friday, isn't it? We're starting. No, September second no, is a Wednesday, before Labor Day. So. Where's my phone? Yeah, that would be a day. Oh, second here. Is that the wrong day? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wednesday <laughs> the first, and then. Right, yeah, Labor Day is the second. So we're starting Wednesday. Right. The right. September second. So okay. teachers would be uh, back the geez, first. Nobody's going to be there before that. Last week. page of my report's got the date. You want the state. Okay, so are we thinking, you know, about a week to two weeks before the first day of school? And again, that's that's up to you, but that would I be I mean, fine. does that right. sound reasonable? To, what do you guys yeah. think? What, Doing the ribbon cutting at one yeah. to two weeks before school starts. One week sounds better to me. I'm fine, but yeah, that's a Because I don't let it all be around. Yeah. Well, I, that's why I'm, you know what, and I know people have, may have it, but the, if we can get the date out yeah. for when we think yeah. it's going to be before the end of June or as soon as we know, just to, so people can, if they want to plan around it, they can. Go ahead, Jeff. I, I just have a question with that. Is, um, Carl said it, and it's true, is that you, you're going to have the state there, you're going to have other mm -hmm. officials there and everything yep. else. So um, August is a deadly month. But because everybody's on vacation, so I, I think we got to check. If you want it, then then you have to check with the state and make sure they're going to be there and everybody else is going to be there. And well, our right. other problem it just is seems like a tough, tough day. Just I agree. Well, I want it's to be not going to get much better when school starts because, and, and I think more importantly is figuring out when. At what day of the week, an evening, a day, when a weekend? Do weekend typically happen? I don't know. That's what my Saturdays, question is. Saturdays, weekends, weekdays at 5 o'clock. We, we've opened a lot of schools. They are weekend. open typically in you know, August or beginning of September. Yep. These ceremonies are typically in October. Correct. Really? In our experience. Okay. Right in the middle of summer. You can do what you season. like. It, it, and it's what very nice to think October? of it as a ribbon I think it's cutting, very anticlimactic. As if you're though. going in for the I first time. Ceremony. But it's rare that you're actually opinion. going in for the first time. And do you it's recall? A ceremony. Them? Like, are they usually on Saturdays? Are they on Wednesday yes. nights? Usually on a weekend. A weekend? So, okay, wait a minute. So there's no reason why we can't have two day. things. Sometimes on a school day, if you want to involve kids, we could have an open house. 
and a ribbon cutting? Or is it, it has to be the same? So can I say, then maybe the open house a week before school. Yeah. Then, the, so that, again, what I'm trying to avoid is that the first time they walk in the building, children come in, they're, they're not going to want to stay a half hour. They're, they're going they're to want right. to They're going to need an hour, yeah. So yeah. if that open house is even for the community and families before school starts, then on the day before school, children come just, you know, to their room. And then maybe the ribbon cutting on a how Saturday. About the, how about school. the 5th? Saturday what? the 5th, September. Just That's Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. You won't get the state there. Yeah, you won't get the state there on Labor Day weekend. Sorry. That's right. Are we offering tours? Are there going to be tours? We're going to have to give tours. Or at least. Well, that's on the the open house. People can walk around. No, I don't mean the open house. Is the public. No. No. This would be. This is going to be. This is the open house. I mean, we don't want to do something for teachers. Right. So, is it not the right move to do a separate ribbon cutting from the open house? Do you think that will have a big enough draw for the ribbon cutting? What I'm hearing is they might want to have two separate. No, no, that was my suggestion, but I'm getting the impression that it's well, going to do Well, why don't we do what we did for when we did the other oh, the ribbon cutting? Grade. What did we do? Brown the the ground breaking. Grade. Thank you. You know, I mean, we can, if we want to do it, say, the Saturday before school, starts as a tentative day right now could we reach out to you know the uh, state officials and the msba that we want and just if they think that's going to be a problem and then if it is then we'll go on to our plan b we can't do it this saturday before school because that's labor day no, no, it's no, it isn't. no it's not it's, it's the saying. weekend before labor day we start before labor day. Anyone it's the last Our weekend in august in august <laughs> That's the busiest day. Yes. Oh, I'm coming out of the islands. But it doesn't have to be. What about the week before that? What about the second to last week in August? August is more vacation. I think you want to get to do is you got to float some dates to the next time that we're going to be there. I'll just tell you, the best time to commute to Boston is in August because nobody's there. It sounds like that you'd want to have an open house in August for families. Yeah. Of the kids who are going to be going to school there, that could be a separate event from having. Like a ceremony, I mean, and yes. at that ceremony, you still have an open house for the public. Right. The That's rest right. of the taxpayers, who and you'll still do school. tours at the open house. That's you'll always do tours right. at the open house to, to, to yeah. give the public a chance to see the school that may not have yeah. children in the school. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, like ribbon cutting, traditionally, yeah. I can tell you from having set these up with the MSBA and with the treasurer's office and all the way up the line, traditionally, these will involve. Speeches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reps want to come. You're yeah. going to thank them for getting you the money. You've got to have speeches. Well, that's what we did for the groundbreaking. Yeah, just like the groundbreaking. That's exactly what we did for the groundbreaking ceremony. You did it for the big high school project that was done on Saturday, and you did it in the auditorium. Yeah. Chairs were set up. Yeah, tours. That's probably why it happens in October, too, because yeah. election day, not this year, but it's typically <laughs> the first week of November. Absolutely. So the politicians yeah. time it. That's, 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 that's true, true, too. Yeah. 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 Very true. Invite people is I orchestrate that through the MSBA. And right. I, I send them some, some, some dates, and we give them the dates. Right. You know, he can't say to them, what works for you? Because they'll lose their minds. <laughs> if you come up with the dates, you tell me the dates you'd like to have it, I shoot it to them and say, it's either going to be this date or this date. Which who, works who, who, who can come? Yeah, they'll tell you who can, they'll they'll tell you can make it. They'll, they'll lose yeah, their minds. Yeah. 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 All right. So maybe that's the way to go. Let the school just do an open house. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, well, just let the kids come in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing an open house sometime in August. Yep. Um, an open That's house later office. in the day, uh, on the first day of school, that would be September 1st, not the first day of class. No, that's no, a no, meet no, no. classroom. That's, a meet that's, that's not an open house. That's that's a meet just, meet just for students. Classroom. Right. Yeah. Just for students right. and their yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. Versus the open house in August, which is for the all the citizens of Georgetown. No. Yeah, the no. first has the children. The children. Well, you're going to, I mean. Well, whoever comes, comes. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's the taxpayers that, you know, yeah, they pay. It's them. really, it's, it's that's going to be up to the school. Right. I think I Margaret is saying I she just, wants I the kids. I just want the opportunity right. for families to see the whole school. Yeah, right. yeah, that's a good idea. In, you know, for the first time, they're, you know, you're going to want to wander and look and, right. and just take it all in. And right. So 
But then when they come in, because our time is going to be so limited on the first, yeah. right. I don't want that to be the first time they come in because we just won't have enough time. Right. The teacher right. has the day before school starts. But if you so haven't, right. and you have an open house in August, then there will be some families that won't be able to come. Right. So right. they'll really appreciate that September 1st. Yes. Right. But um, and then the you'll open have, house in August be for and anyone And then you'll have a come. ribbon yes. cutting would have to sometime be. maybe in October on a Saturday. Right. No, I think, I which think would that also is include more for the tour ribbon probably cutting after. because right. you, you need yes. to think of it. There are okay, a lot so that's of three separate kids events. right now and parents that have anxiety about, you know, this big school and everything like that. They need the chance to go in and feel so comfortable and walk around. August. And it's yeah. going to have to be orchestrated by the school. We you know, in the last two last two schools we opened it the third week in August we opened it up there we can do various that. times grades one through three, three, three came right. from yep. two to three Damn. grades Damn. three or whatever it is and that's what you do you open the building it's up. it's for the yeah. for the kids and then when you do the ribbon cutting then you have people there for the town okay okay so that first open house could be by grades you'd have grades you just do it by the first grade margaret did you hear that that's how we've done it in other schools listen to him did you hear that's how we've done it in other schools and it seems to be very effective chuck chuck is recommending or from past experience has seen other schools have uh, a window of opportunity per grade. Like maybe first grade come between these hours. Yes. And second grade come for this hour. Third That's grade come between right. the Right. Exactly. But that could be but for the August. August. But yeah. the seven grades. It's still, that's why it's a full day. Yeah, oh, or you could do two yeah. grades. You, you could do two grades together. Grades. You could do two right. grades together. K through two, two and then you could actually you know, do three and one four. and two together. Oh, she was oh, trying one. to do six. She's trying to just do the end of the, the day. I was trying to do the afternoon because, again, we, we, we are going to have to do, we have mandated trainings to do, we have PD. No, not on the first. They're talking about no, it. This is for your open you house. An open house. For your open house the week well, before. The problem with that, again, you know, just saying, I. Some teachers might be there. I can't ask teachers to. No, you it's need not. It's not for the there. teachers. It's not for the teachers. It's you to take the, the, the general open just house. Just the, the general open right. house for the families. Yeah, that's, that's what I, I agree. Yes, in August, open it up. They can come. Anybody comes, right. they wander around. Keep they see it. But that time on the first, there would that's still be a right. window, right. and they so, get to see their right. teachers. So the the August one would would that be organized by you, or would that be organized by the It'd school? Be more the school. Mm -hmm. that's I mean, I mean, we could help. Certainly. Yeah, well, yeah, we but. can help. And actually, through I mean, through the advisory council too. You know that people have offered to be part of that. Right. You know, thing. So I think we can reach out to parents in Pembroke right now who want to help coordinate that because I think we're definitely going to need people to take people around. And you know, so if you do the breaks like you're going to do on September first for that August one, you mm -hmm. know, say first or whatever kindergarten to first grade come from one to two, yes. you know what I mean? And then second to third grade come from two to three or whatever, yeah. you know, then you can break it down so you don't have 500 people walking into the school right. at once. Yes. And then from that way, we can manage how many people we're gonna need in the school to help you walk people around. We've, we've, we've even seen the last one I did, they do with mailers. They sent a mailer out at the, before the end of the school year for a little map. Here's where the first right grade is, here's where kindergarten is, here's where sixth grade is. And you run it right through the cap cap cafeteria that, that so people get there some some of the parents have had an opportunity to review this they yeah. get there and they're not completely lost and then you're going to put up signs first grade this way you can regard this way and you put up a piece of a nice piece of blue tape don't put scotch tape on the walls we'll lose our mind try wall tape yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if we can get those dates out, you know, definitely before the end of the school year, and then, you know, you can do it connected. We can send out stuff in the kids' That's backpacks, great. and, you know, so everybody has the information. Right. That would be helpful. Right. With the contractor finishing ahead of time, we're on this side of the table. We leave that we're not crunching to finish <laughs> at the same time you're doing all this, because that's right. traditionally what we go through. Hmm. So the only thing is you'll have technology being moved in and set up prior to all of this happening, first of August, something like that. So it'll be great. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I think we're definitely in. looking at the second half of August to do this. Oh, sure. sure. Yeah. And yeah. going in, the furniture will be there, too. So they'll get oh, out yeah. the furniture. Yeah. 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 You know what it looks like. June, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. All right. So, okay. so, I, so we we'll do a ribbon cutting later. Yeah. In September, beginning of October. Weekend. That's okay. normally when it happens. That's our experience. That's usually when you do the ribbon cutting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All the bugs are out. And invite everyone from town yeah. to come. Yeah. All right.
All right. Yeah. Sounds good. So you'll just head into a little. Have you ever done these, Charles? Have you ever done these like in uh, June? What day is that? Because you have the ability since it's a different school. No, we have a class trip over and take a look at it. They're often not ready in June. Usually. They're often not ready in June. That's the problem. No, it's coming in and you'll be up, you'll be up in a state of flux at that point. And right. You, oh, yeah. still got furniture and then you get technology comes in right after that. So everything's still being set up. Boxes are all over the place, you know. Yeah. What, 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 but speaking of June, I, I was going to mention what some communities That last week the shed goes up. Um, <laughs> With, with some communities, I also think about in this in situation uh, is a uh, ceremony to say goodbye to the old school. And since yes. Pat and I we're, are we're, firms we're were involved, so you want to say goodbye? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't think I can take the emotion though. I don't think I can take <laughs> the emotion. So you don't want to hit the yeah. puncher? <laughs> so we so we've celebrated a lot of things. The, the yeah. steel beam going up That's and right. signing that. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we want to. We want. No, it's usually just the for barn. the school. At the, Teachers and uh, sometimes alumni or whatever yeah. themselves. I enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't let Carl, Carl fool you, it's for Carl and I. Yeah. Yeah, don't let <laughs> Carl fool you. Yeah. So, uh, when would that be called? The last day of school? Yeah, children, yeah. Or last day of school or maybe so sometimes it's a Tuesday? last week. So, or maybe something. to do something like that, you could even maybe look to do like Friday the 19th or something. I mean, because you, you, you can't do it the last day of school because everybody's just going to be right, out of there. Right. Right. And to do it on a Monday, I think. Should just we give everybody a Sharpie and let them write so their eye on the building? No, because you're still going to live in the building the next Well, week. I do envision, I mean, <laughs> Two I days, a day and like a half. Second to last day of school. A day and a half. You do it, but put it up I mean, I'm just thinking of Friday versus, I mean, or you could do it Monday the 22nd. And everything's going to be about But I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, the last day, a half day, you're, you can't do it that day because kids are one out. Margaret, excuse me, would you just make yeah, sure right. that every day you pick you and write Kat and Carl? Yeah, uh, Tuesday's a half a day. Right. right. So either 19th or the 22nd would probably make sense on that. Maybe the 22nd. So it's not too much in advance. Yeah. You know, yeah. Monday, and then day. you have Tuesday, then and it's Tuesday, the last day. Tuesday, Tuesday for yeah. Right now, yeah. Tuesday's the last day for yeah. a half day. So. Okay. Should we tell kids to bring a Sharpie to school that day? Well, <laughs> again, we were just saying that some schools have done that, but I would ask if it's goodbyes and sentiments and not scribbling. <laughs> we want, you know, I, I was saying I picture, you know, hearts or you write your message and then put it up somewhere, you know. Do it as an art project. It's not graffiti day. It's <laughs> yeah, you could have Mrs. Resendez be in charge of that and give everybody direction on doing but it. Like if, they, if they drew up a nice big wall so it's framed like a mural, why not? Or, I mean, or yeah. again, anywhere. Right. Not it the can be anywhere. It can be throughout right. the school. Intention, like in design, to save sentiment. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's okay. Want that, yeah. it's okay. okay. All right. Um, okay, toys. other business. Please, if you have not taken this conflict of interest. Uh, mm. Sorry, Michelle. Uh, Michelle is hanging on to the certificates. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Got it. Microphone, Carl. Oh, the microphone fell off. That's what the bang was. There is one. Please take a moment to do it. I know, Jim, you, you've been I did it. I still I have the certificate of home, actually. Okay. Well, I know where it is, even. Do you remember awesome. you have to do that? <laughs> okay. All right. And was You're there anything else? You're not the one else? I'm worried about. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't have any other business. I didn't do it last time. I'm all set. Okay. I would make a motion to adjourn. Well, what is it? Carol, my answer. Carol, we're about to adjourn. No, adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you want to add before you sit? No, no. I'm, then you don't took sit. Care of it. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. We're adjourned. Good to see everybody. Good to see you. Keep your fingers crossed for Thursday. Okay.